Hi, I'm Cara Miller, the Lifestyleista, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to lower your potassium naturally. Now, if you're healthy, your body's already creating a potassium balance that is just fine. But if you have an underlying condition, such as kidney failure or diabetes, then your body has a problem maintaining a healthy potassium balance. So, the first thing to do to treat the underlying condition is go to a doctor and get your kidney disease treated, get, speak to them about your diabetes. Second thing, keep a journal of every bit of potassium you're eating. Look at the nutrition facts label. And thirdly, really look at what you eat. So low potassium foods like, like onions, like mushrooms, like berries, and avoid high potassium foods like sweet potato. Look at this, collard greens and, and, and whatnot. There's something else. If you've spoken to your doctor and he's given you permission to eat high potassium foods once you've leached them, here's how to leach. First, peel your potato and then cut it into slices that aren't bigger than one eighth of an inch, so they're thin slices. And then you take warm water and you carefully wash the slices, wash each slice. And then you get, let's say you've got a cup of potato, soak it in 10 cups of warm water. Now what leaching is doing is pulling the potassium out of the vegetable. Now it won't pull all of it out, but it will pull some. You need to change the water every four hours and you cannot, there's a minimum of two hours of soaking. Once you've finished soaking, you take it back to the sink and you wash the slices again with warm water. Now you're ready for the pot. For every one cup of vegetable you have, you have five cups of boiling water. And now you cook your potatoes, and then when you've finished, they're ready to eat and they're delicious. But remember, you still need to limit high potassium foods, even if you leach. Remember, this is your life.